Ooh, what's up guys? Thanks for joining for another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle with yours truly, Death Scarender. And today we're going against a passerby guy, or battle, passerby. Yeah, he's a passerby. Did I say I was a passerby? I don't know. He's a passerby at least. Passerby. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll won't read to record this. Passerby battle, Muhammad against Scarender. Let's do it. And this is my last upload with uh, this team. Uh, as I said in my previous video, uh, the most interesting battles that I had during this previous week was actually the ones that I lost. And we'll keep going in somewhat in that trend. This is actually a very interesting game because he's obviously bringing the real stuff. Like he's bringing Jurassina, Shilvaltal, Ampharos, Mewtwo, um, Blaziken, and uh, Blastoise. Kind of stumble on Blaziken like it did for a moment. But uh, what the hell is it called? Never seen it, of course. So, um kind of stunned there. Uh, I myself using pretty much the same team I had, had way back there and um, actually trying out, um, what was it called? That trash Pokemon, Gobbledurk, something like that. Uh, it is actually kind of cool to use. You got Curse on it and Rain Punch and Gunk Shot. Very interesting, very bulky and uh, it's been working well actually. Uh, it's really weird to use it, but, you know, like I said, it works well, and it puts a lot of pressure. Other than that, you know, it's stout Langing Glyph, as always, doing the work, and um, Hippo Dawn just, you know, keeping the pressure. So, let's actually get to the game. So, in the beginning here, I was really starting to just wait for Dawn, you know, get the Sandstream up. Since it was a passerby, and with that team, I really just felt that, you know what, let's just get that pressure off right away. Uh, he started with Blastoise, obviously I don't want to risk it to Saiyan in, because I can't really do anything, and I don't see any reason to Saiyan in. So I'm just going to go into my um, well, Garbodor and just see how much it takes this Hydro Pump, and uh, yeah, it can deal with that. Obviously it doesn't benefit too well in the Sandstorm there, but Blackstar will put it right back up. I'm just going to go for a Seed Bomb here, and he actually decided to switch out, I didn't expect that, going right into his Mewtwo, and Jam. Um, yeah, this thing really took that seed bomb really well. I'm obviously not invested in attack, so that's probably why I didn't do anything. And uh, I was forced here to switch out to my Gigalith. And you guys are gonna see something spectacular. Not only, of course, is this the Mega Mewtwo. Of course it is. And it is Mega Mewtwo Y. It's going for that Aura Sphere. Uh, and uh, no, it went for Psychic. And I took this really, really well. And then after this, he will go for an Aura Sphere. And uh, it it doesn't move my HP at all. And I'm gonna finish this Mewtwo with Rock Slide, and this is something you don't see every day. Gigalith defeats Mega Mewtwo Y. That, that is simply splendid. Uh, I actually didn't decide to not stay in here. I could actually have sacked my Gigalith right there and then, because uh, could definitely have taken Aqua Jail and then, of course, a Surf in that Sandstorm with the Soul Vest. So, um, I took this opportunity to uh, switch into my offensive uh, Reuniclus with the Trick Room. And he brings Yulvaltal, and I was thinking where it, I could at least go for a Shadow Ball, but that Sucker Punch will take me out. I didn't expect a Sucker Punch, to say the least. So, anyway, I decided to go to Full Fire because I know I can take a Sucker Punch. He will actually decide to switch out, go into his place again, and uh, you know what my Stoutland does. Yeah, that was brutal. <laughs> so obviously didn't stand a chance there, and Giratina comes in. I was kind of fearing, if it's a good player, that he could go for a Will-O-Wisp. Uh, don't, of course, want that to happen, but I'd rather have Bura with that, of course. Getting up to Sandstorm yet again. And he opened Earthquake, and um, I walled that. No problem. No problem at all. Getting the leftovers, and uh, you know what? I just felt, you know what, let's keep that pressure going and just go for an Ice Fang. Giratina is genuinely bulky, like, wow, of course it isn't that strong, but, you know, the HP and defenses are off this world. So, I actually decide to just keep going, and uh, he does predict that I'm gonna stay and go for another Ice Fang, so he goes for his Blastoise. And, uh, what do you know, hacks are a part of this game too, so I get the Freeze, of course. Yes. So, I saw this opportunity to switch into my uh, Gigalith and, uh, well, just go for Rock Slide and try to finish it off. Because, like I said, I know I can take a Surf or an Aqua Tail, without a doubt. And it actually fought out the first turn, but it missed the Aqua Tail, luckily for me. So I get the chance to at least hit him. So here's the Surf, and uh, I took it. It did around 13 damage, so that is definitely not a, the best... How to put it? Uh, the best type of um, 
effort value on that thing. Obviously it's an in-game Blastoise for sure, consider how little they did. So anyway, I'm just going to squall here, go for a Volt Switch. Because, why not? In case you decide to switch out, so I get the switch initiative anyway. So of course I finished that one up, and uh, I saw no reason to uh, not go into Prima Poo here. Prima Poo, of course, is going to try to set up. Um, because I really felt that no, neither Dialga nor uh, Shilvold Tall could really do anything. The only one I feared was actually Ampharos, if it was in a special set. Uh, so I go for the curse, and uh, after this I'll try to recover with Green Punch. So, um, yeah, I went for the curse two times. My bad. And uh, of course, uh, now should I should have thought that I should have some decent uh, attack by now. So I go for Dark Falls. It was more than I wanted to, but at least it didn't get splinched. And the Drain Punch did not do enough. I should probably forgot that the Gilbert at all is super bulky. Like, it's probably in the Giratina's range when it comes to defenses. And I missed my junk shot here, and uh, it really, really sucks because that leads me to barely take another Dark Pulse. And this gunk shot will actually take him out. I did not expect that. Wow. <laughs> so at least my Gorbador is getting the chance to uh, actually prove himself. And I saw no reason to switch out here, so I'm just gonna fodder my Prima Poo off. Yeah, I, I think that name is just splendid. So when we're going to Squall here, I actually just wanted to see if he decided to stay in. Uh, of course, the Volt Switch isn't going to do anything to either Ampharos or, um, of course, Giratina. So at this point, I was, you know what, let's just bring Bugra here and, uh, you know, try to uh, wall him out, really. So, uh, of course, get buffed for the Sandstorm, and I just felt that, you know what, I should probably go for Nice Fang. I actually go for Shadow Force. And giving me a golden opportunity to actually switch into my Stoutland. Of course, Sandstorm is still hitting him, even though it isn't part of the battlefield anymore. Which I feel kind of weird, but... You know, whatever, right? So then we're going to full figure, and uh, of course Shadow Force is gonna miss, and I'm gonna finish this off with a Crunch. And it's well in the range where a Crunch will finish it off. Even though Yorzina has immense defenses, I'm still able to um, put it down on, with that range of HP, of course. And his last Pokemon is gonna be Ampharos. And I was thinking, you know what, let's not go for the Giga Impact and finish this game. I want to try something else here. So, um, of course I was really like afraid that my opponent might DC at this point, but seeing that this battle is going, that he didn't do it. So, thank you for being such a good sport with this type of pressure, of course. And uh, he's going for Dragon Pulse. Obviously my Flame Force isn't doing it enough, but I just want to get some damage off here. And uh, his Dragon Pulse is not, an, uh, it's not a 3 key it's KO, uh, or 2 hit KO. So I get off another flamethrower and almost kill it with a crit there. And um, yeah, I just felt that, you know what, let's try to be a douche here and just set up the sandstorm. And uh, well, just kill it with the sand really. So guys, enjoy. So yeah, I hope you liked that clip. Um, I want to thank Mohammed with the passerby for being such a good sport and staying in throughout the turns, even though it was really obvious that he couldn't really do anything. And um, yeah. and by default, I feel really sorry for him because he actually had a stronger team, but I don't think they were trained in the right way. And as a result, my team was definitely overpowering him really early on. And of course. Furfro doing his thing and Gil is actually destroying a Mewtwo Y. That was that was really cool. I've actually never seen anything like it. I'm probably never will again. And I'm really glad that happened. So I don't know, guys. You know, thank you as always for watching. Like, uh, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, I will try to actually stream on Wednesday, uh, so if you guys are off work or free from school or anything like that, make sure to check me out because I'm going to stream really early. Just going to go for a mixed year and a few new games, um, doing the usual stuff. So no upload tomorrow on Tuesday, but I'll definitely see you on Wednesday. So other guys, thank you for watching and have a good day, alright? Bye.